how are you? Uh, just a quick update with, uh, with Mo and Andy. Still unquestionable for the night. We, we still have to wait till both of those guys get in and see how they're feeling. Uh, my feeling is, though, uh, is that Andy is probably more likely to pay than Mo. Uh, but again, we'll probably know a little bit more on that in the next 15, 20 minutes. All right, that's it for the night, right? <laughs> see ya. <laughs> <laughs> just because of ten for ten the last time we played against him. Uh, yeah, I, I would hope that's the. I would hope he feels that way. You know, he had a great game. Uh, it, it was the first game that he played after I told him he has to shoot the ball. So maybe we're we'll gonna do the same thing, kind of recreate that same situation. Go out and tell him you got to shoot the ball tonight. Uh, but no, he played fantastic, obviously. You know, but so did Mo. You know, we had pretty much our whole team that night, uh, with the exception of um, Antoine Jameson. You know, who was. Uh, Still bailing a little bit from the knee. Um, you know, so you know, hopefully he can play tonight because obviously he gives us a big spark when he does. Not really, it just gives us uh, one less guy to worry about. You know, Andre uh, played pretty well against us down there before he got hurt because uh, he's a problem. He's good in the post, he's good in the open floor. Uh, you know, the one thing he, he had a couple of baskets where he kind of took our guys down low. Uh, and before he went out, we were talking about him having to come to double team, so you know that, that kind of helps our defense a little bit. But obviously, it still doesn't mean we can you know relax at all. Uh, they still have some guys with very capable of scoring. Byron, how much better has Antoine fit in since he's been back? Now that his knees up to stuff and he's able to do some things. Yeah, he's been great. You know, I mean, in uh, 25 minutes a game, uh, you know, averaging 16 and nine, that's pretty good. He's been, been shooting about 50%. So he's, he's been playing extremely well for us. Uh, his practice has been, he's been tremendous. Uh, you know, his work ethics, his leadership, and, and some of the things that we talked about the other day as far as moving, you know, moving the ball, moving our bodies, he, he's one of our best guys at doing that. You know, so um, you know, hopefully our younger guys are taking a real good look at what he did the other day in our practice, and they'll um, you know, hopefully some of that will rub off. But he's been great. His experience in the offense when he was with Washington, do you see that, and, and do the other guys see it? Feed off? Well, I don't know if the other guys do. I do, you know, and, and, our, and our other coaches do. And like I said, he feels real comfortable and uh, pretty much at home with what we're doing offensively because he knows it. Uh, some of the terminology is a little bit different, but the actions are a lot alike. Uh, you know, we have some different twists and turns to it than he probably had in Washington, but he has a real good feel for what we're doing. And, and I think it's obvious in the three games that he's played, you know, why he scored so well. And he's, it's kind of made it look easy because of the way that he understands the offense. It's 25 minutes where you want to keep him. Yeah, I would like to. I would like to because uh, I think he can be just you know so effective. Uh, you know, playing that that amount of minutes right now. Uh, at least in these three games he has been. So you know, we're gonna try to keep him somewhere around there. JJ and Antoine have been on the floor a decent amount. Is that out of necessity without having Andy, or are you starting to like him? How that no, it was more out of, out of a necessity because Andy didn't miss him. You know, so. Uh, but sometimes I know I can still do that, depending on the teams that we play. Uh, they have bigger lineups, they, they play a bigger three. Uh, but against smaller teams, like this team tonight that plays a small four, uh, that would be a little bit more difficult to do. With, with a rib injury, is it just a matter of what he can endure pain-wise? What he can tolerate, yeah, pretty much. You know, it's going to heal slowly. He's got a, uh, like a little flat jacket on, uh, just in case. But yeah, that, that's a, uh, an injury that you just, you know, it takes time to heal. That's the only thing about it. Did you catch up with Doug Collins as a player? No, I'm not that old. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How do you remember if the look the gap was there or not? You weren't Doug was my, no, I was not. I had the pleasure of uh, watching Coach play uh, with the 76ers when he was all star and then I had the uh, pleasure of being coached by him when I was at Arizona State. So we go all the way back to my junior year in, in college. You know, I was 20 years old, and uh, you know, like I said before, loving to death. Just, just an unbelievable person, an unbelievable basketball guy. So, uh, nothing but good memories about coaching.